me. So weak. But I, right. Are you supposed to say it? I think she wants you to say it. Like, so so weak. So weak. Well, that ain't like, cute. Yeah. You know, be in your mouth like so. Just say know. sweetie. I don't know. Sweetie, so, so, cause that you know she sound thing. ghetto. She look ghetto. You think she ghetto? I think she's very I think ghetto. She's very I think ghetto. she's ghetto fabulous. She is ghetto. She's like the new like the new Halle Berry off of Babs. Yeah, she, she could actually totally play. Babs. Yeah, she Halle Berry on Babs. I'm a in, I'm a DM her and see and if she get it, she better crazy. You know my she ass. like to recreate. Like she does. That are already she would be existing. great. Yes. Who would play um Nisi? I know Nisi. Oh. Who would play Damn. Nisi? Dang, that's a good one. That's, I don't know. Do you, you think um what's her name? Amber? Amber who? She um Amber Riley? Yes. Oh, from Glee. Glee. Yeah. Oh, uh, she could play. She her. could. She, she could. could sing, but she can. She could act too. Yeah, well, I mean, she's been doing it all her life because she yes. went from Disney to Glee. Yeah. So Wait, let, let, let's put this in. Let me call Tyler. So we and Amber. And Amber, the new Babs. The new Babs. Yes, I love it. You giving away that Bentley? Hell no. Why? Why would I'm trying to figure out, like, why would she say, like we talked about last week, yeah. how she was like, if a dude give me a gift, I'm not giving it back because he gave it to me. Raquel, so you giving the gift back? Are you giving the Bentley back? Hell no. On what turns we on? And by the video You're that over. they gave, you know, put out. Yeah, I would have gave it back. You would have gave it back. I don't have time for it. Keep it. I got my own money. That's yeah. true. But I mean, I could put that towards my. Okay, expenses. what was what was the video? I'm sorry, I didn't see the video. They got into it. Got like a little the elevator thing, whatever. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can mm. tell it was a toxic relationship. Yeah. Mm. You ain't about yeah. to sling me in no elevator. Y'all think it was him or her? She looked toxic. Yeah. Both. She looked toxic. Both. You think it's because she light skinned? She toxic. <laughs> <laughs> don't be doing us like that. Don't do us like that. Don't do us like that. <laughs> are we, we talking? Are we talking to <laughs> Look, Dan's laughing because he like, okay, Christina, let's do it. Christina, a little toxic. We toxic, Dan. Yep. I, I mean, for real. Yeah. I don't think and it has anything to do with color. I don't think it has anything to do with color either because let me tell you something. So I went on a I went on a <laughs> lunch date, right? Or a dinner date with my high school friends. Okay. And we asked her about her brother. Mm-hmm. And um she was just like, I said, Well, how is he doing? You know, she was like, Girl, he got this new baby mama. She crazy. Uh, new baby mama. Yeah. The, uh, the first one was white. So this one, oh. she was like, He got a new baby mama. She crazy. She was like, She pulled up to my mama house and was cussing my mama she black? out. This she, one? Black. Black. Okay. He's black on black on black, black on black on black. On black, on black. On black. <laughs> Bliggity, <laughs> black. Okay. So she was like, yeah, she was like, she was cussing my mama out and she got the baby on the hill. Wait, no. Cussing, you cussing the mama out? Cussing. I said, They're not going to be together. <laughs> They're not gonna be together. Clearly, that's what he liked because he continues to go back with her. Mm-hmm. And she was like, Yeah, she is so toxic because it happens over and over and over again. What is I mean, it's a pussy nigga. No, I think that some men like toxic bitches. Some men like okay, toxic women. I think women. that's true too, because I used to date this man and I didn't I liked him, but I didn't like him. And when he did stupid shit, I used to curse his ass out. Mm-hmm. And he used to be like, oh, man. Yes, like it on. drives them. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> yes. toxic. He's toxic. And, that, and it takes you out of your character. Well, see, I didn't know a lot about him. And he, okay, so. <laughs> oh, Lord. He was a drug dealer, and I didn't even know it. His nickname was Smacky, and I didn't know, like, Smack <laughs> was a term for, like, but drugs. Drugs, it is. <laughs> yeah. Y'all laughing, but I was, I was like, I'm so naive. So what you're saying is when you meet a guy, he has a nickname, we need to go to the Urban Dictionary and figure yes. out what the nickname right. really means. Okay, so Scooter don't mean nothing. We're going to have to figure that out. I'm going to look after the but, show because if but, Scooter means... No. See, let me tell you how I found out. Pushing, pushing, because you got to no. push this. If Scooter mean push him, look, we got to know. We were on a date. What is he pushing? We were on a date and... He was like, I got to make a stop real quick. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm just being light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. It's okay. And he's 
skirted onto the side of the road and he dapped the boy off and the boy dapped him off and I saw a little exchange. Oh. You know, I'm not, I'm not, not naive. Right, right. You just didn't know. I'm so inquisitive. So I'm like, I was like, what was that? He was like, you know, you know, I handed him this little package. And I was like, what package? And he was like, my name's Smacky. And I was like, what does that mean? And he was like, that's like that sounds like something I would have asked, huh? Know. Like, yeah. like you smack women? Like, who no, you smacking? I, well, I, I just thought it was a cute nickname. <laughs> yeah, but you know, not like was, Elmo though. No, <laughs> <laughs> not like Elmo. Oh no, girl, we gotta get started. Lord, I have some. Lord, I got some stories. Let's go. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Dope girls, yeah, it's a podcast. Two dope girls, yeah, we speaking all facts. Two dope girls, yeah, we got it, just relax. Two dope girls, hit like, subscribe, back. Two dope girls, and we only never slack. Two dope girls, and we got each other back. Two dope girls, and we coming for the cash. Two, two dope girls, and we all about a bag. Gracie, how are Ooh. you? You okay. all right over there? You know, I'm trying to stay cool over here. <laughs> I see. <laughs> how are you? Hey, guys. Welcome back to Two Dope Girls Podcast. It is episode 34. We are here. I am Grace. What is up? Yes, I am LaDonna, and we are back in the building, back in the content factory once again. Yes. How was your week, girl? Girl, um, I don't be remembering. Um, nothing. I didn't do nothing. Really, I worked. Absolutely nothing. Took care of children. Took care of a husband. My husband's birthday is today. So happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean Allen. What's going on? What y'all doing for his birthday? Um, I don't know. Tonight, I don't know. I I don't know. It's with it was with birthday yesterday. So oh, Sean happy goes. I know, oh, I didn't know it my was with birthday. Oh, I know. I need to text her. Happy I, lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did yeah, not yeah. know it was her birthday. Yeah, we we gonna talk about that. Okay, but um. Yeah, so we birthday was yesterday, so I'm gonna figure out who I'll be with tonight or whatever, <laughs> and then tomorrow, <laughs> right? And then tomorrow we'll go maybe out to eat mm-hmm. and then um, to safe room. Okay. Yeah, oh. Jay Michael has a you know p- party tomorrow, so. Who's Jay Michael? Uh, owner of Safe Room. Oh, okay. Oh, and Jay Wings. Jay Jay Jay. Yeah. That's free no, advertisement, I'm Jay. Like, Give I'm me my money. Like I don't know him, as in, <laughs> right? You know, like you don't, right? Oh, sorry, exactly, Jay. exactly. I forgot about that. Sorry. Okay. Well, yeah. How else was your week? How was your week? It was good. Other than that, you know, just making it. Just making. Just making it. How was yours? It was good. I don't pretty much remember my week. I don't either. Like, I don't. It just flies it does. by. Well, yesterday, me and Scoot went to um, Casanova. I saw that. And it was really nice. Mm-hmm. He had a Pride um, party mm-hmm. for, you know, Pride Month. Oh, why was, didn't you come get me? Look, I, <gasps> we were working. I love Pride. We were working. Scoot yeah. was taking pictures. I, I was I doing figured. videos. And yeah. it was a really nice turnout. Yeah. It was really good. I got hit on. Oh, like, that would have made me feel so good. Me got hit on okay. by some by some little young children. Yes. I was like, yes. What? Look, I got a I got a story <laughs> for that. You know, so okay. You know, my niece and ne- my niece went to Miles College when she was in college, right? Okay. So she what played basketball. Uh, Morgan. Okay. She played basketball. Did she go to Miles? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. She played basketball, and um, we used to go to all the home games. Mm-hmm. So you know, every home game, it would it would always be somebody different, like just trying to hit on me or whatever. But it it wouldn't be you know out the norm or something. Yeah. Okay, so this one time we went to a um, I, I think I I want to say it, I can't remember what type of event it was, right? So mm-hmm. I'm walking across the gym floor. It's people everywhere walking across the gym floor. This guy. Like taps me and was like, "Yo, you gotta pick that up." My ass, t- old, my old ass, turning around, looking Fell on the for floor. The dope. Fell for the okey dope. And I looked up at him. I said, "What did I drop?" He said, "My heart, cause you so damn beautiful." Big stupid nigga. <laughs> Go ahead somewhere. That was the <laughs> wackiest shit ever. Ass out of here. But he was like a student, and he was like super cute. But it wasn't even a man that was hitting on me. Oh my! God. It was the women. Well, I mean, but, but you know what? 
as much as I play basketball, I've never really been hit on by a woman. So I always I, get hit on by women. You do, because Nikki, Nikki was about to Nikki was about to tell you tell you down. I ain't gonna lie, I was just gonna watch. <laughs> I was so, so okay. So Nikki, Nikki Natural, yes, Nikki Natural. She was on Loving uh, Hip Hop Love, Miami. Yes, Loving Hip Hop Miami. Yes, you remember she was dating Trick, Trick Daddy. She got in a fight with Trina. Yeah, you can talk. Oh, yeah, okay. go ahead, <laughs> y'all. This right we're, we're, we're gonna introduce we, her yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just <laughs> tell me not to talk. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was my fault. But I, just, I mean, I just wanted to get her. I don't know uh, Nikki Natural. Yes, girl. She's she, a beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's sweet. She was a lot of fun when, yeah. when we uh when we interview her. I always so what did you say woman. when um, she tried to hit on you? She asked me if I like girls. I said in my past life. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm married now. She was like, well, he could join too. And I was like, uh, I got uh, 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 <laughs> I've been is. I've been changed, girl. She is pretty. She's very beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, she was sitting um, right right where you are. Yeah, right where was, you are. I, yeah. think, I thought she was about to like. <laughs> ah. She asked there. me as well if I was into that. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't girl. know what it is. Do I give like a lesbian vibe? On? I don't know. I think it's the sultry. You know. Yeah. Think, you know it's yeah, it's the sultry. Yeah, I had fun. We had fun at Casanova's. Good. Casanova's a cool guy. So oh, okay. So it's a guy. You don't Name? know Casanova? I, I don't think so. Okay, so he went to Auburn. He was like one of the. Oh, the okay. okay he's okay, a football okay. player. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm there. So I'm there. it is his club. Mm -hmm. Is so dope. It's mm -hmm. so nice on the inside. It's like the aesthetic is perfect. If you want to take your Instagram pictures, if you want to be in it, like it's the vibe is great. It is. Um, it's a diverse crowd too. Um, the guy who is the owner of East West, he was there. Okay. White guy. Mm -hmm. Totally. It's a cool vibe. So if you guys want to go to Casanova's Bar and Lounge, go to Casanova's Bar and Lounge because it is a cool vibe. Drinks are cheap. Okay. Drinks are cheap. Yeah. Like wood for shots for like eleven dollars okay. a pop, and they were like decent, like De nice decent stuff. shots. Mm -hmm. That's good. But yeah, we had a good week. Good. Y'all, yeah. we got in the building, Raquel. Hey, Raquel. Hey. What's going on, girl? <laughs> we are just happy to have you, hunty. So I've been be like here. following you, of course, forever. But we went to school together. Right. Did you guys go to school together? What school? Yes. Fair high fair. school. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you, what's like middle school? Or I went to Arrington and Redledge. Okay, so you literally didn't come to Fairfield until Fairfield until High Fairfield, School. Yes. Are you okay. from Birmingham? I am. Okay. I am. I'm all from all over the west side, though. Tell yeah. the people about you. Well, my name is Raquel Garrett. I am on IG and Facebook as Raquel I Am. I'm a single mother of three. I have my own blog by the name of Pages from My Book. And it just talks about my experiences that I've been through I and read. went through. Yes. And we'll talk. You know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so that's pretty much it. I yes. love to dibble dabble in a lot of different things. I'm an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. I am a student. I have a nine to five. So I got a lot of you got you know, a lot buckets. going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you um studying? Business management. Mm. Yeah. Anytime I hear somebody going to school, I just get nauseous. You I do? like, oh, school, it just makes me sick. Right. It does. I'm like, I'm over school. Yeah, but you I already got your degrees. Yeah, know, you should be still, over school. Yeah. I don't know. But it's like, <laughs> them student loans. I think that's oh, what yeah. makes me yeah. sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what yeah. makes me sick. Yeah. If I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. Really? Um, because a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do with my degree, I have, um, I'm doing it. Or mm -hmm. I have done it, or yeah. I mm -hmm. have access to it. Right. Um. But one thing that I've realized in doing it is, which I'm gonna dabble in, you know, on down the road, mm -hmm. is uh, giving back. Mm -hmm. Um. A lot I've done is I've exhausted my financial aid, so I pay out of pocket. Mm. And the reason why I'm continuing to do it is because I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. I might as yeah. well get it over. You you well. Well. I have yeah. a couple of classes to go, so why not do it? Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's so many women and men, too, who want to go to school and need to go to school for what they're pursuing. Right. And they don't have the funds. or mm -hmm. Right. So i seen purpose in it still. So. There's oh, purpose. Yeah. Sure. Can nobody take your education. Right. I don't care sure. what right. they say about you. Right. 
where they try to throw you. You can take them student loans, though. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> but, you know, we we work for the government, so, you know, they'll be forgiven in 10 years. Ooh, another five G. I no, know, another, I got another six. Four. Got another oh, four, oh, no, another I got another five. Another, I, mean, I know, I got five. I just four. heard about their program, too. Make you sure you get on it. So you better excited. get on I it. Am. Mm-hmm. I am. Yes. I can't wait Yeah, for the clean slate. Okay, Raquel, so... I don't know if you listen, but we like to give our guests like a little, a little baptism. Come on. Right. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. We like to break the ice a little with okay. a game. Okay. So this week we have a game and it's going to, uh, I don't know what it's going to be called. It's like, okay, we're going to um, pull the rabbit out the hat. We're going to pull a name out the cup. Okay. That's the name of the game. Pull rabbit the, out the hat. Rabbit out the hat. Hey, there you go. <laughs> So we're going to pull a name, each of us, and you have to let us know, or each of us going to have to let us know, um, you're going to have to describe. Without name. saying without, the name. Without <laughs> saying the okay. name. And, um, wait, I didn't, I didn't You didn't pull it. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, so, let, and you, um, describe them without telling us who they are. And I guess we'll have, what, like 10 seconds to figure it out? Yeah. You want to give us like 10 seconds? Yeah. Okay, That's so cool. Raquel, since you're the guest, okay, you go first. I will. Okay, y'all ready? We're ready. All right. Hold on, hold on, one second. Let me get this. Let me get this time again. Oh, you gonna put the time on? Man, Ooh, what? She is not playing. Man, you know, what? I thought I was gonna be able to go over. I know. know. You know, <laughs> ten, you know seconds ten seconds on the clock. It's about a minute. A minute. <laughs> it's gonna take us five seconds. Right. Because right. like, um, when we say y'all, right. we on our way. Right. right. That means we about half right. an hour. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you fifteen seconds. It's gonna be easy. I'm gonna make it. Okay. Okay. Virgo. Um, Beyonce. Dang it. I'm yes. sorry. I'm a Beyonce fan. I don't oh, know so you know she was a Virgo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me and sorry. her first name. You got it. Okay. Yeah, sorry. You want to go to LaDonna? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Okay. Super fan. <laughs> right. Beehive. You know, you know. Did you Did you leave a room? I did. I did. I did. I did. Oh, <laughs> Man, paper. You know, he should he should have kept his mouth closed. What's up, <laughs> What you got? Okay, let's see. Oh hell. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, she just had a baby. Um, she from New York. Uh, she Nikki. don't. Yep. Nicki Minaj. Uh, <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. I know you had five six. I love girl. Nikki though. Oh, I don't. Know. Okay. <laughs> Christina did this. <laughs> I'm so weak. Go. But I like it. Okay. Okay. Dancing white lady, talk show host. Chelsea. Ellen. Ellen. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Do I get a prize? Do I, I know, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're gonna have to get you some liquor. I know, right? We're gonna have to yes. get you some liquor. I think so. Yes. Have to get you some liquor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> pull up pull another name. All right. Yeah, man. <sighs> Thank you. What you got? You ready? <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I, the way she looked at me, I don't know. I love you. Okay. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> Are you acting? Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was like, <laughs> look, I was about to act. <laughs> listen, like, and sing. I know. Me. I thought she was going to do Angela Bassett or something. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> she was shaking that little <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so weak. Okay, okay. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Ghosts. Movie. Amari. Nope. Okay. Fifty uh, Cent. Nope. Um. Talk show. View. Dread. Ghost. Oh, Whippy. Whippy, Whippy Goldberg. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was in Ghosts. Oh, she yeah. was. She in was ghost. in Ghosts. Yeah. Not Ghosts. 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 She oh, was in Ghosts. Y'all don't remember oh, Ghosts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know it's hot. I remember Ghosts. I always wanted to do a romantic. I love that. I love that. I ain't never been on because no pottery class. I'm going to look that up today. <laughs> Does Bernie have that? Probably so. We probably just probably, probably not. We probably want to go to Atlanta or something. You think so? A pottery class? It's probably here. It's probably on 280. Yeah. I'm probably about the white folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Um, 
Go down to Allen. I know. Come I got to Don't worry about that timer. Yeah, just okay. come read it. All right. Um. <laughs> Um, she tickles herself. I know. <laughs> let me yeah. Let me stop this because <laughs> yeah, right. She ain't She's gonna, gonna be laughing, right? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. Um, Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey. Um, oh, what's her name? Um. Uh. <gasps> dang. I don't know. Yeah. I, I was trying name? not to say the obvious, but Wakanda forever. Oh, um, uh, Chad with yes. Yeah. I was trying to like go Ooh. around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This is going to be easy if okay. I say it. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> you want Oprah money. Right. I want some Oprah money. Pull Go another. Again? Yeah, I'm pulling All another. Right. We're going to pull until we done, baby. All right. Give me that. Let's see. I don't know if I did two. Did you do two? I do. Give me one. I did two. I didn't look. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. My earring. Oh my god. Oh my god. My earring. I'm eating salad. My house what? is all white. Oh I just yes, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. She lost her earring in, in the, the, uh, ocean. In the ocean. She did. You know, okay, so you know, I, I don't, I'm don't watch the Kardashian. I'm sorry. I'm a fan. Did you know? Did you know what she I was did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. That was a good one. That's my girl. I love her. No, yeah, I never watched the Kardashians. I love Kardashians. Yeah, she's extra, but that's still my girl. I'm your girl. Okay, yeah. we have a diverse. That's oh, me. Okay, okay, okay. You should have been practicing a little. Diverse. I know. Oh, I ain't no. even looked. <laughs> um, bye, 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 bye. Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I finish the song? Then? <laughs> no. <laughs> you should have gave us something. Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, this one gonna be hard. Her children are like the United Nations. She was married to um, what's the handsome, Angela um, uh -huh. Ange uh, shit. Angelina Jolie? Angelina yes. Jolie. Who yes. gets the point? Because I, I know. Because I was right. like, "Who is my alcohol?" I know. Yes. We have a little. We gotta we're gonna get you. Shot. Yeah, we're gonna get you a shot. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. get you. Right. Pull another car. Right. Pull another I forgot car. We're pulling, we're pulling. Yeah. That was good because I didn't think nobody was going to get that one. Yes. That lady said her children like the United <laughs> Nations. I mean, they are. <laughs> I'm like, what? I had gave up right then. I know. <laughs> I know. What you got? You ready? Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Offset. Cardi. Yeah, Cardi. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else. I, I gave y'all the easy way out. Woo, woo, right. woo. I should have said that. I should have said that. I'm going to start rapping. Migos. Right. They got the ball. Right. Did y'all see the guy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, made up. Yes, he was like, y'all, the Migos cannot rap. He did such a good job. It's just their ad libs. Yeah. Ooh, it's a beat. Ain't nothing straight. Ain't nothing straight. Y'all cannot say that. That is so funny. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, the Queen of New York, Mary J. Nope. Um, um, Kim. Damn. It's Kim, right? Little Kim. Nope. Nope. It ain't. Okay. And then she used to. She used to date Notorious. Okay. Yes, it was Kim. Oh, okay. I was about to say, was about to say oh, look, hey. look, this is what I was I should, about to do. I should have left. Oh, hey, oh. Uh, uh, get it. Uh, 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 ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Maybe that's who she need to go against. <laughs> right. Look him and Mary J. Blige. Right. Boom. They need to do a dance off. I know, right? Not who going to get it? Off. Damn. Who going to get it? Who going to get it? Dang. Who, mm, who get lower? Kim, because she's shorter. Yeah. Yeah, Mary, you know Mary still. She only can go so far. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> okay, um. King Kong ain't got nothing Denzel. on me. Denzel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Denzel. What's the end scene? End scene. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to make this hard for y'all. Cowboy boots, cowboy hat. Lil Nas X. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one though. It was. Uh Clint uh, Clinton Eastwood. Um, Bikini. Oh, Meg. 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 Hey, you know she always 
Oh, yeah. Oh, she do. She do. I didn't even think about that. Mm, mm, mm. Like yes. That, yes. that was I good. Tried, you know, I tried to make it. I mean, I got y'all an easy one there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all ready? She gave me money. Oh, Jamie Foxx. When damn. You could at least say Ray Charles first. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't registering for me. Dang. Oh, she a gold digger. Way over town. That is on me. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I ain't saying she no go. Hey. <laughs> she ain't messing with no broke nigga. Show line. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, LaDonna. <laughs> Laughing at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see how I'm going to do this. Okay, okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, she now she be talking about me, be tickled at myself. Um, oh, where's my pudding pop? Ah, Bill Cosby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where's my pudding pop? Did this last say, where's my pudding pop? Ay, ay, ay. That's all I can think about. That was funny. Uh, Raquel, you got the last one. Why? Because you're the guest. Come it. on. I don't need to. No, know you can't pass this. it. You want to pass I, it? Yeah, I'm going to pass it. You're going to pass it too. I don't know. Well, you, you to... know it. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to okay. try it. Okay. TV show. Okay. Suspenders. Glasses. Still fun. You know, Urkel. I do that. Steve oh, Urkel. Mm-hmm. Steve Urkel. That was a good one. That was good. Yeah, you did good. Yeah. 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 Round of applause yeah. for our guests. Yes. Yeah. You, did, you did a good job. Yes. That was did a fun game. Did you not watch Grace. Family Matters? I did, but I just couldn't think of the characters. Because who he was. Did I do that? Did yeah. I do that? I should have, yeah. you know. Or you could have said, Steve. Oh, no. Because that would have said his name. Right. Oh, no. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's, that's what, what he said. Go home. He always yeah. told Steve to go home. Really? Always. You know, every Carl time I think Winslow about that, I think about uh, Jazz on Fresh Prince. He tells Jazz oh, yeah. to go home. Yeah. Oh, he used to or talk Roger. him out. Mm-hmm. Sister, sister. Yes. Oh, yeah. Go, go home, home, Roger. Roger. <laughs> yeah. Did we all have a Roger in our life? Oh, yeah. That we just wanted right to just now. get really? away? Yes. No, I didn't have a Roger. It wasn't, my mom was today. not, nobody was coming in my mama's house, okay? My parents, really? no, I told you my mama was straight. Oh, yeah, that's Ain't nobody right. just, now we did, like, I went to other people's house, like, in the neighborhood when we yeah, were Yeah, in the neighborhood. But they weren't just, you know, yeah, randomly coming mm-hmm. through my house, no. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have that type of childhood. Okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a good that game. Was a good, it was. It was a good game. It was, it was. All right, we're going to pause right here. I need the... You still sweating? <laughs> you she, she, you oh, approach, she approach me and I'm going to be like, okay, girl, let's go. Oh, she fine, fine. She fine, fine. She fine, fine. Yeah, so let's get into these hot topics. Uh, as we took a little break, we were over here looking and admiring Lala. With her fine self. With her fine mm-hmm. self. She mm-hmm. is on the gram posing in this red bikini. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. She posing in this red bikini looking like a whole entree. The entree, yes. the yeah. snack, the appetizer. Mm-hmm. So, what y'all think? Uh, what's his name? Carmelo. Carmelo. Uh, saying when he when he Damn. see that. Damn. But he's seen it. He know what she look like. I don't think he's saying nothing. I don't know why. I don't. I just he's slow. I mean, yeah, he's he's slow. Me, for real, honestly, Melo really kind of fell off. He's just now getting his his wings back under him. If we if we speaking, yeah, because right. he he wasn't doing good in the NBA for a minute. He just now getting back to doing better. And and you better oh now you, what a father of twins. Better in the NBA. We're talking about his his job. Oh, okay. The 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 reason that Des would say. I mean, he's still Melo. <laughs> I'm just saying he he's just now getting back. Okay, but does that does, does that really um does that mean anything though? Like because she is she looks like the total package. Does Who? that mean Lala? Oh yeah. Does that mean anything? No, absolutely okay. not. That's why when I tell I mean, of course I've gotten whatever my little work done, you know, mm-hmm. but I tell people if that's something you want to do, you have to do it for yourself because if you're doing it to get noticed by somebody else, right. you're gonna get your feelings hurt. Right. Yeah. But she looks amazing. When she looks in the mirror, 
I know she like fuck Happy Carmilla. birthday, Lala! Because yes. today is her birthday. It is her birthday today, and yeah. she looks she amazing. Looks like the cake. Good. She does. She looks like the I like. Cake. I want to take a piece of her her waist. <laughs> she want to take a piece of her waist. Yeah. and blow her candle off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or her her hips are everything to me. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, but maybe because my hips don't, don't look like that. Okay. Yeah. You, you want They're them to look that? They are that a little bow. bit too wide. That little. They are a little look. bit too wide. It looks like maybe she got them fixed because it was worse than that. I thought she looked really, um, really fake. But it looked like she got, you know, maybe she went to Kim <laughs> surgeon this time. Because Kim is, baby. She is. Right. Let me tell you Kim something. Snatched. Kim snatched. Kim is to perfection. Yeah. 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 Chloe is to perfection. Yes. You know what? Yes. I don't even recognize her face anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she is to perfection. Do you understand me? But I don't know. Like, it, it what cause? I, I don't want to look in the mirror and be like, and then you wait. Good, but but I did don't you know who you are? Right. But did you see what she said on the interview? I can't wait till the entire interview comes out. What interview? She okay. So you know, this is the final season of the reunions. Um, well, this is the final season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which right. I'm so sad about. Me too. I've never I watched absolutely love. I've never watched the Kardashians. I absolutely love I Kardashians. Like, yeah, grew up with them. You know who that was? You remember the girl that just passed? I think her name was Ashley. She was in. Um, what was the? They were she in. Passed? Okay, no, no, no. This girl, her name is Ashley. She did pass, but she mm-hmm. was in um, a reality. She was on a reality show, Black Kids in California. Y'all remember that? They were in like um, high school and we were like following oh my God. them. What is that? Um, something Heights. Something Heights or Heels or something. No, no it's Heights. Heights. She was oh. black. It was on BET. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was on BET. Baldwin, Baldwin, Baldwin Hills. Baldwin Hills. Baldwin it was. Hills, not Heights. Yeah. Baldwin Hills. Baldwin yeah. Hills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know if, like, we, we didn't really grow up on Baldwin Hills, but Baldwin Hills came. As we were uh, like right. around yeah. the same age, you know yeah, what I'm saying, right. as them. So I don't know, like <sighs> keeping up with the Kardashians was everything. I never right. watched it. Yeah, they never were everything because I mean, I guess they they were like this little glimpse of like, man, right. people are really out here living. Yeah, they, yeah. they're out here living. Yes, they are. I mean, yeah, but, you know. Who? I mean, I'm sure the Kardashians. The Kardashians? Have oh, something oh, it's else something. Yeah, I was about to say it's yeah. it's not going to end. Like, Mama Jure is not Chris going Jenner to let not, yeah. the, let the legacy end. She's at, like, I, I need to get these, at like the 16th I need to get season girls to a billion, right. right? And then I'm good. But I mean, Kylie, yeah, she's they at have a billion. So yeah. many bill, uh, businesses, oh, yeah. though. So mm-hmm. they're not gonna lack anything. Yeah, listen, I sure. wonder can she adopt me. <laughs> I'll let her. She you gonna be like, mean, like, and not for her money, so she can help build my right, empire. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she know what she's doing. Retainer. You, I don't care. <laughs> if you can get me to a billion, yeah, you can have two percent, five percent. I don't care. Oh, she ain't gonna take two percent. She'll take five. She, she probably gonna take fifteen. Yeah. Nah, she take five. <laughs> she gonna take fifteen. 15. I mean, she, she don't know me, so she'll be like, okay, we'll she do don't know three. You, which is why she gonna take fifteen. <laughs> she probably take five from her children. <laughs> you think so? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she got a. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, all of them together. What y'all think Rob doing? Eating? I'm just kidding. No, he getting fine. I feel like you he think getting, so. I feel yeah, like he's he getting fine behind the scenes. You yeah. think he getting fine, fine? Mm-hmm. I feel like he getting fine, fine behind the scenes. Yeah, mm. yeah. I can't he wait to find see his that. niche. He do have to find his niche. Uh, and when he was with Black China, he was trying to get to you know his finest, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if he was trying to get to his finest or, or she, she was trying, she to, was make trying him. to get him yeah. to his finest. You know she was trying mean? to make him into. There's nothing wrong with that though. Yeah, there's, there's not, nothing wrong with her not. trying to elevate him. Right, but he yeah. got a woman for himself. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's what you were talking about. They they're about to come out with the movie. That that don't look real. I ain't about to watch that. Watch so <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely. You know not one thing that it. I absolutely love about Kim what? is she has never spoken badly about Kanye. Kanye. Like I shouldn't. love that about shouldn't. her. Even on the that reunion, yeah, right. she was like, look. We, you know, it was a lot of things that made up our divorce, but, and, and some things I'm not going to speak on. I think that was dope yeah. because you know, she's Kim. She can speak on whatever she wants and she's not with him. And he just was seen with a model. Okay. One thing I will say about this family and I only seen pieces of the reunion. Right. Me too. Cohen, me too. But when I heard, um, 
Chloe. Chloe, yeah. Talking about, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> talking about Tristan. I just feel like they take the high road, and I, yeah, I appreciate they do. that because yeah. they do. you can dog these people out. Mm-hmm. She could she could have dogged Tristan out. She could she could have dogged Jordan out. Mm-hmm. She she could have even dogged her sister out for being friends with Jordan, right. but she decided to take the high road. And I I honestly I think that that has more of an effect on their fans than anything else because if they feel like they can take the high road maybe i can take the high road right in certain situations i think that but i also think that they're mature enough to do that because of their paper yeah because you know yeah, they don't want to mess up at that the, paper at the end of the yeah. day Mm-hmm. And they already have their fans. They right, already right. have the people that's going to ride with them no matter what goes on, when, no matter how they look in right. the public eye. They have fans that's going to ride with them no matter, no what. matter what. So why would I give you what you want when you're going to ride with me no matter what? They go low. I mean, they go high when others go low. Right. I okay. like them. I, I like Kardashian. Too. Okay, let me ask you a question because mm-hmm. we're all mothers here. Yes. Mm-hmm. How did you give birth? Uh, vaginally. How did you give birth? Same. I say I gave birth via C-section. Okay. So if you gave birth via C-section and the doctor cut your baby's face during the C-section, Listen. how would you feel? I would be rich. I would be with Kylie. Hello. I'm about to be a billionaire. <laughs> Hello. What you saying? You didn't cut my baby? Okay. So I'm talking about this Colorado couple. Yes. Whose newborn baby was slashed. Ain't in the crazy? face during a cesarean section. Okay, so um, the the baby had to endure like thirteen stitches because the doctor the the baby was I I think they said the baby was uh, against the placenta. Mm-hmm. First of all, that's your job to know where the baby is, right? Right, and to understand that to assess the situation assess the situation and figure out the best solution. Right, the mom wanted to give birth vaginally. She could not. The, the doctor said that they did not detect a heartbeat, so they wanted to do a cesarean section. Yeah. They did a cesarean <clears throat> section, but they slashed the baby face from like right here <gasps> to right crazy? here. I saw the picture. It was horrendous. Horrendous. Mm-hmm. First of all, I would have got up, belly open and everything. Everything. Swinging. Coochie open and everything. Swinging. Legs open and every that, Placenta open <laughs> and everything. That, doc, that, that hospital, that hospital oh, would have yeah. been named Grace Memorial. You, you understand me? me? The whole street <laughs> would have been named Hardy Allen. I mean, how do you feel? <laughs> right. How do you right. feel as like, a mother? Like, what? I, I, I couldn't even imagine. Being black. Yeah. Right. And hurt. she was a black mother. Yeah. Wow. Being black. black mother. And having to give birth, and I told you I want to have a podcast about, like, uh, a podcast about this. Yeah, yeah. Being black and giving birth is already difficult. You know what I'm saying? We have to go through so many trials and tribulations Mm -hmm. because they don't believe us when we say we have certain challenges or... If we're hurting. Right, right. When it comes to um, maternal pains. Right. And we have to really push. So when I was giving birth to Paisley... I, if you know me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of a diva, just a little bit. She learned. I was having total diva. contractions, <laughs> like maybe two minutes apart uh-huh. as I'm taking my maternal, my maternity pictures. Yeah. And I kept taking them mm-hmm. like, and I was like, <gasps> mm, both. Yes. Are you yes, for let real? Me, I'm dead. I'm dead yeah, ass serious. Like me. Face ugly. Dead ass serious. Sweating. So I get to the emergency room. My mom had to talk me into the emergency room because I had been to the emergency room a couple times. I'm like. For Parker or Paisley? Paisley. Okay. Because I was having these pains. And I'm like, yo, this feels like I'm about to come into labor. Yeah. No, but this time I'm having contractions like back to back to back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, you are not putting me out this emergency room right i was in so much pain that i was going to sleep and then when i would wake up it was like i didn't even have strength to Did you have drugs no at this point they were like literally trying to put me out the emergency room oh my god i was in the emergency room for like four hours wow yes 
And they were like trying to put. They were like, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let you wait. We're gonna wait one more hour to see if who was I in dilate. the emergency room with you? Who was Sean? Sure, he he no, I'm talking about like oh. other people because I'm about to say my tri- baby daddy. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you're triaging people and no one else is in right. the emergency room right. with you, you would think that they would make you priority. No, well, the, the nurse. I thank thank God for her. She was mm-hmm. a little little white nurse. Thank God for her. Mm-hmm. But whoever the doctor was was really trying to put me out. And she kept saying, you are in a lot of pain to not be dilating. Something's wrong, right? So they tried to put me out. Four hours later, she finally comes and checked me. And I'm like seven centimeters dilated. Wow. In the really? emergency room. Now they got to you find birth me. On the right. Floor. Now they got to find me a room that could take time. And you know, by the time you seven, eight centimeters dilated, it can right. shoot, you know? Right. So, Yeah. He yeah, shoot like like, like that episode boom. of Martin. Boom. Boom. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they could be catching the baby. But you know what? It's it's crazy because well, I had my baby young. And yeah, I was a young mother, so I would not have known. And I don't think even some older mothers would know what to do when it comes to um, giving birth and what you need to ask for. And right. and I think that needs to be a part of the birth plan. Right for for mothers. To, to know what to say, to know what to do, to know what to ask for, and no one to say no that you're, you're not going to accept anything. Because mm-hmm. I was 17. I didn't know. They told me I was dilated. Okay, I was dilated. They told me they need to break my water. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're going to break my water. They mm-hmm. told me the baby was stuck. Then they got to do a C-section. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, I don't know yeah. these things. Right. And if hindsight, I, I wish I would have known so mm-hmm. I can ask more questions. Ask more questions, yeah. Because... We I think did, they're the doctors. Know. Yeah, you know, they're supposed to know. Yeah. 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 They're supposed to tell us and walk us through this. Like, right. Yeah, so I totally get yeah. it. So you had vaginal births for all, all three all of your three. kids? All three. That's a blessing. I yeah. That is. is. And let me tell you something. And I prayed about that. Yes. Because yeah. I did not want Once. To. Yes. That's how I was. And when I tell you, like, you didn't two want to pushes. have a vaginal birth? I didn't want to have a C-section. C-section. Okay, you didn't yeah. want to have a C-section. So every time that I went in, I would, like, hey, look. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but yeah. I'm gonna push this baby out. Yeah, because I, I they, wish I would have had that experience. I yeah. really do. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. really. Yeah. I I was anticipating that mm-hmm. even young. I yeah. did, I didn't know like whether or not I wanted to have a baby, but I knew that I wanted to have a vaginal birth, and because I was kind of robbed of that mm-hmm. i was like damn i i didn't get to experience experience that, that. and yeah. i ain't have no more babies girl you're not gonna have any more hell no you my baby had one my baby is a 19 wow yes you got a 19 19 year? he'll be 20 in november no you're not doing that no more uh-uh. you said, uh-uh. 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 i don't blame uh-uh. you yeah. okay speaking of parenthood yes we're gonna talk about fathers okay because mm-hmm. last week was father's day yep shout outs to all the fathers yeah have you guys the good fathers? The, the good fathers. Let's <laughs> shout them out. Right. <laughs> okay. Above and beyond. Right. Have you guys watched Fatherhood? I okay. Have. I started. Was it really good? I can. It I was... watched it from beginning to end. Okay. It was good. I fell asleep the first time. <gasps> Did you? I fell asleep the second time. No. And then I watched it again. But yeah, I wasn't all that um, really? emotional. Yeah. Like everybody was, was saying, like, oh my God, I, I cried. cried. Really? And laughed from beginning yeah. to end. Yeah. It was such an emotional movie. Only because I knew it was based on a true story. Oh, okay. Oh, it was. Oh, it based, was. Okay, yes. I didn't know that. Okay, he I'm did gonna have an to watch interview with the Breakfast Club, and he said it was based on a true story mm-hmm. of this guy who um, had a wife, and they were together, and his wife died during childbirth. Wow. And the fact, I think, the fact that I knew that. It was based on a true story. It was how I got emotionally attached mm. to it and why I, like, cried. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> Aww. and then he would say something funny. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was And funny. then I was, like, crying and, like, from yeah. beginning to end. And this is one of the movies, first time in a long time, that I have never fell asleep on. Really? Yes. I, like, sat up in my bed. I was like, this is okay, I'm such going a good to... movie. I think yeah. it was the way it started. I was just like, oh. I can't deal with Kevin Hart today. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I really I have liked to, him acting though. You he know, was good. Yeah, okay, I'm, gonna know, like to, good. I'm gonna have to go ahead and watch. The he whole showed thing. a different range. Right, he did. Right. He did really, range. really good. Yeah. You know, sometimes when they have to switch, you know, kind of roles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's no Jamie Fox. Not at all. Because yeah. Jamie Fox got range, range. Oh, right. Like you hear me? Like and. 
Yeah. yeah. Kevin, oh, really? Kevin Hart, yeah. he did a, a, a he did a good job. Okay, job okay. So Sunday, job. this is Sean. This yeah. is what we're doing on Sunday. He ain't gonna hear it till Tuesday, but <laughs> <laughs> we've been watched about that, right? <laughs> good movie it i do was. encourage people to watch okay. it and, i mean I'm it's number one on now. netflix so I'm, yeah i'm excited now yeah, i a love really a good, good movie, movie honey mm-hmm. and the movie theaters are opening it back up you know that's nice i ain't going back well i probably will because we Girl, get your clorox i'm about to get, get your in the back anyway what y'all was doing at the top in the bag y'all I'm nasty don't worry about that all right nasty <laughs> all right <laughs> I'm about that. They're like, really nice. I know, right? <laughs> Check them out. The one on Lakeshore is really, really nice. They got really the, is. They it's a little hood. You know, the, I ain't going to try. There's one hood. in Which Vestavia, one? too. The one on Lakeshore. Uh-uh. Hold on. I don't know where the I one was. In I may have been in The one in Vestavia. There's one in Vestavia. The AMC in Vestavia. Mm-hmm. They have, like, the, the mm-hmm. drinks and the food they'll mm-hmm. bring to you. You can recline in your chairs or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's how it is in the one in It is. The one in Lakeshore is nice. It's just, you know, a lot of us What day did you go? I went on like a Sunday. Um, or t- like a, I can't remember. You know, I've been weekday, there twice, no but every t- both times I was there, it, you know, the hood came out. Too, mit- too mm. many of us. Yeah, we yeah. came out. So speaking of children. Yes. Kadeem. <laughs> Kadeem. I knew. Kadeem I'm so excited. Like, I'm like, please, to them. Lord. I'm praying with her. Please, Lord. Let it be girl. a girl. Please. If that's a girl. I'm so excited. She's going to be rotten rotten Taking care because of. he has been asking for this baby for the last three years has he i yes. didn't know that yes he has literally been asking for How this older baby. day um i could imagine they wouldn't be around our age around our age yeah, yeah like from 35 to 37 or yeah. something like that yeah so in between our age yeah well congratulations to them i yes. really do hope it's a girl i do too she's going to be protected she is going to be Hold on, covered the- Kadeen. Kadeen and, and Deval. Deval Ellis. You know how I'm talking about? They have about? a podcast, too. Oh, okay. oh, oh yeah. 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 I'm like, <laughs> see, you messed me up because I was looking at the pictures. I'm like, I don't know them. Yeah. I was oh, yeah, looking at the pictures. I do, yeah. I do yeah. love Kadeen. them. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. I love yeah. them. I really they've been on the Ellis. You see, they've been on yep. the Black Love Doc. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have, do you guys watch? I like, love, love it. it. Oh, yep. I first love of all, it. I, I cry on that too. Yeah, I do. The older I get, the more emotional I am. Yeah. I just, I can't stop my tears anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, even if I want to be like a G and be like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to cry. I'm still going to cry. I'm still going to cry. cry. I'm still going to cry. But yeah. it was the couple for me, um, the guy who was married to his wife for like 30 something years. And then she died of cancer. And she died of cancer. Yeah, that was, ugh. I cried. Every single time they talk, I cry. I'm yes. like, it was, I skipped that part. <gasps> Why? I can't do it. Oh, it's certain stuff that it. I just I was like you I'm not gonna do that. To I that know. It was such a sweet and beautiful and poetic because story. for his wife, his current wife, to say the way he takes care of, first took of, care of his first wife. First, because she said one day with him, women would envy. Yes, just one day with him, a wow. lifetime with their current husband. A, a, Wow. Yeah, over a lifetime with their current partners because mm-hmm. that's how sweet mm-hmm. and genuine and, and attentive. How attentive he is mm-hmm. or he was to his first wife. Even during her sickness. Even during wow. her sickness. Mm-hmm. And the, first of all, the fact that she said they still having sex, like she was in her, her 20s, he was taking care of her like that. Mm-hmm. So how long did it take for him to get with the new wife? Okay, you know, so this is the second. thing. The... The second wife was an or or is an ordained minister, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she used to come over and pray with the first wife. Okay, and the first wife told her mm-hmm. to make sure that he was okay. Like it's almost like she kind of like thought Nushed that him, yeah, yeah, like I I like her for you, him. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was like she knew that he is a guy that needs to be with mm-hmm. somebody. Mm-hmm. And the way that both of them spoke about the first wife mm-hmm. was like it was it gave me goosebumps because wow. the second wife talked so highly mm-hmm. of her. Mm-hmm. She talked about how she even smiled like she was on morphine. She knew she was going to die. She was on hospice and she just had Help an aura her. about her mm-hmm. and still smiled through mm-hmm. whatever she was going through. I think that just that's mm-hmm. so And he said amazing. even the kids like nudged them. Yeah, because the her daughter, his daughter. Mm hmm told her dad to buy the, the current wife the current wife something the one who was praying for the deceased wife mm-hmm. something for her birthday mm-hmm. she said she never got picked up 
at the airport before, you got to watch it. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to watch you it. You have to do it. I'm going to watch yes. it. It's such a poetic now story. Now I'm going to cry. I'm calling y'all. Please Come do. on, call. You're going to cry. Yeah. You're going to cry. Yeah, because it, so it, yeah. so it was so sweet. It was so sweet. It was so sweet. It was dope. I love the Black Love Docs. And I'm so mad because I've been like, man, yeah. this is not long enough. It's not. It's really it not really long enough. Not. It really is not. I but love it. Speaking on Black Love, don't you just love ASAP Rocky and Rihanna? Yes. I, like individually I just feel and collectively like, and collectively yes. like i think they just fit it they yeah. do they look like they have a lot of fun together yes. did y'all see them on their date yeah why we all in their business like that I, but we love it we do love it <laughs> but how they know where they at though i know let those people go have did some dinner that dress she had Ooh, on but it was like Dior or something and that, look hey but she, went up to she her don't nipple. never have no t- no bra on honey your her little nipples <laughs> just be coming through the whole dress walk like that baby that's lit went up to her nipple yes <laughs> She looks amazing. She could wear anything. She could have oh, had a trash bag on and still have. look fine. She could right? have. I love she is so. beautiful. This is why I would want her to be my best friend. Like yeah. we talked about. Yeah. Like I would love. You would have a lot of fun with I her. I would have a lot of fun. We'd be high. Yep. Ooh. We'd be fly. Fly high. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> Flying high. Yep. Going to exotic places. Mm-hmm. Let me some Rihanna. And Axel Rocky is very handsome. He is. I mean, They're even when he smiled, children. oh my gosh. Like he, I mean, if, I think at first look, you're like, oh, he, you know. But yeah. then when you look at him again, you're like, oh, man, he's pretty teeth. No, I've always thought he was handsome. Yeah, he's yeah. very handsome. Yeah. They, they compliment got, each other. They do. They do. And they money like. compliment each other. You think? Do you think ASAP Rocky uh, is on her level? Oh, ASAP Rocky, I, as if I can recall, he is the one that made the um, McDonald's theme song. Da, 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 da. Shut I'm up. Nah, yes. Uh, Who was that? Uh, oh, Pusha Oh, oh sure okay. is. Sure is. But they all the same. Is a fashionist. She loves yes. Fashion. And yeah, she, she dressed does. him for one award show. She did. Okay. And he said that he thinks that she's the love of his life. Really? She did. He did. So, I mean, I, mean, I just, her, I like them together. Her money and his money, they're going to make right. money, money. Money, money. And some beautiful ass kids. And some beautiful kids. And speaking of money. Yes. What if you go to the ATM mm. and you realize this already sounds like it's about to take a bad turn? <laughs> <laughs> nope. You go to the ATM, you try to withdraw some money, and you're like, oh, you can't get no money, but then you get your receipt. Mm-hmm. And it said you got nine hundred ninety-nine million nine hundred eighty-five thousand eight hundred fifty-five thousand and ninety-four cents. What you gonna do? That's about right. So why I can't get my money? That's why I'm going to listen. I I just went to the ATM and it said I got. Why can't I get my money? Look, I'm talking about this lady in Florida, Largo, Florida. She went to the ATM. Her name is Julia Yankowski. Mm. She went to the ATM. She just wanted to take twenty dollars out the ATM. She ain't have but two hundred. She probably did. She probably had forty. <laughs> but because <Yeah. laughs> yeah. you take a twenty, right? Like, you already know. And when she she didn't get the twenty because yeah. they said insufficient funds or something like that. So let me tell you, on Tuesday, a representative. So she went to the the ATM and she saw that she had that she much money. She would be old as shit. Oh, God as dang. Shit. Okay, so look. She okay, told. look, 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 look. She went to Chase. She tried to take twenty dollars out. She uh-huh. couldn't. Okay. So her balance was actually in the negative, but she had an overdraft. So mm-hmm. she was like confused. Why can't I take $20 out? She was, so she went, you know how you go to check your account or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she saw it was $999,985,855.94. Wow. So it was actually a fraud prevention thing on her account that led that. I don't know how they do it, Chase. I don't know what y'all doing. I don't know. I'm about to open up me. I'm um, telling right? you. you know Let me saying? see that. But it said that it was logged because of suspicious activity. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why they put that amount in there because of suspicious activity. But she said she was scared. She said, uh-uh, I've seen this on a, the news too yeah. many times. Somebody trying to yeah. get me. You know <laughs> she old. She like something. I'm just trying to get $20. To, that's somebody trying to get me. Theodore. <laughs> Did you see this? I would have been got it. Theodore, that's, that's a husband. Theodore, Theodore Yankowski. <laughs> Theodore Yankowski. Yes. I would have 
would have got a Bentley. I would have got a down payment on the house before they called me. No. Look. See, that's what that lady did in Louisiana and her ass got got. She did. She tried to buy a Honda. She didn't even buy a Bentley. She tried. Yeah. She bought a house and she tried to buy a Honda. What happened? She had to get that money back. Dang. Just she put me in. Just give me an overpayment. That's all right. <laughs> put me $20 so, a month. Right. Can I, can, can I do a partial Take recovery, right. please? Right. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Inside like, joke. I'm sorry. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done if I would have saw that on my Yeah, I, I would have been I would been definitely have called. I would have been like, hey, can y'all send me a statement and say that this is my, my money? Because... I want to spend this. I just got to, I just want $20. Can I get $20, please? Right. Mm, I would have been thanking God. Thank you, oh, Jesus. <laughs> how did you know? No, you didn't. I know I had wrote in my, in my, in my little journal. Look, won't he do it? Right. And ask you to pay all my debt. Right. And you done did it, Lord. And you done did it. Look, you remember, you know them people that uh, when you wake up in the middle of the night and they at that little church talking about, I got a check in the mail for $500,000. Oh, thank you yeah. for all my prayer words. Yeah. Yes. On the prayer right. line. Thank yes. you, Jesus. God is good. God is Won't good. he do it? <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. I think I did. Okay, so the last thing we want to talk about, of course, today, breaking news, Mr. Derek Chauvin. Oh. Was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for That's the murder enough. of George Floyd. I I'm not satisfied with that. You know, he only has to technically serve 15 years. Right. He was, technically only has to serve 15 years. That I was actually correct. watching it today. Um, the victim impact statements and mm -hmm. his daughter got up there, even yes. though she was virtual. And it, it <sighs> What she said, like, I was in tears. I was in tears. It's and, you sad. know, she was just speaking as a child. Like, I miss and I love my dad. Like, we used to do this every day and we used to do that every day, you know. That's crazy because yeah. we know as adults how things impact us. Right? Mm -hmm. So imagine a little person. Yeah. How right. things would impact them. And they, they can't even conceptualize half of the things that we can. Right. They're absolutely smart, but... The fact that she does not have her dad, right. the fact that she understands that the impact that his death has had, I really hope they have her in counseling. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I really do. I lost my dad at 16 and I'm still dealing I'm with that. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing like having your dad. It's yeah. like a protection. Yeah. Has really just lifted from you. Yeah. You know, so. And I can imagine that. Did you watch... Joy, um, not George Floyd, um, Chauvin's mother's statement. No, I didn't. What did she say? Okay, I, I think she was, she missed the mark. She was totally insensitive to George Floyd's family mm -hmm. because she didn't even mention them. She what? didn't give her condolences to mm -hmm. her to the family. She just talked about how she's gonna miss her son's hug. Fuck your son. He put his what. No, he put his knees on her neck. I mean, mm -hmm. his neck mm -hmm. killed this man. Mm -hmm. You have to understand the 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 ramifications that your son did. Yeah, and he's already in another suit for mm -hmm. something else that he's done to someone else. Yeah. So, I, and I get what you're saying. I get. I kind of get what Dez is saying. Like, if that's my son, that's my son. that's my child. I'm still going to be like, you know, I'm going to miss my child. That's you know what fine, I'm saying? But, but I still still acknowledge you, right. he the still other should family. have yeah. acknowledged. She did not even acknowledge mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. other family. White and privilege. I get that. White that's, privilege. That's that white privilege. Yep. She started off talking about what she is going or or just things about him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that. Right. I don't want to hear anything about him. Yeah. You, and, <laughs> Right. Like, yeah. George Floyd is gone mm -hmm. at the hands. That's what Stephen. Or at the uh, knee of your his, son. His, uh, his twin, Stephen, he was like, he gone. I'm, I miss him. Yeah. Like, nothing. 22 years is not going to get him back. Right. Uh, 22 years is not going to get his daughter's uh, and, and, and her father relationship or her seeing him every day. It's, it's not going to get it back. It's not going to do that. Yeah. I'm, it sucks. It sucks. And. Yeah. No, just, he could have been given the electric chair and it just still wouldn't have been enough. Like, it just was bad. bad. 
It just yeah. was bad, you know? I don't know how long he's going to last. I doubt he make it to 15 years. I doubt yeah. the people in prison going to let him make it to 15 I years. I don't know. It, it, it Bill Cosby still making it. That's different. Maybe. Mm, yeah. You think different. so? Yeah, you know. It's different. He's sitting in somebody, sitting somewhere uh, drinking coffee, huh? Talking about the pudding pop. The pudding pop. Can I get a pudding pop? The pudding pop. The pudding pop. Look, I do want to give my um, condolences and prayers to those in Miami. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, That residence that Mm -hmm. collapsed, Mm -hmm. that is a big fear of mine. That has Mm -hmm. always been a big fear of mine. And there was um, in D.C. a residential bridge or Mm -hmm. um, a pedestrian bridge, I should say, that collapsed in the middle of the highway. I don't understand how these things happen. Well, contractors not doing their job. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but um, I just, I give my condolences to them. There are still 159 people that are unaccounted for. There are um, four deaths reported so far. There are probably more as of right now, but... That that's just a horrible situation. It like, is. just imagine being in your place of residence, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, right, right, and you don't know. Yeah. And I was talking to my mom today. I was like, you, you, when you're in these high rises, you can kind of feel like the building kind of sway. Mm-hmm. Like it, when you're stuck on traffic. Because I was telling her when I was back home in New Orleans, I remember being stuck on the um, the GNO the bridge and you can kind of feel like it, like it's going side to side. And I'm like, this feels uncomfortable. Oh, wow. But I don't know. I, I do don't, not I like bridges. You I don't, mean? Yeah, I don't me neither. Me either. Ooh, let me tell you something. I get wow. the most uneasy feeling driving on a bridge. It's just, I don't know. I just condolences yeah, to them. Absolutely. I, I pray that, Everyone gets healing. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that comes, mm-hmm. but it's just it was just a <gasps> devastating loss. Oh yeah, my it's God. Like, yeah. Do we know the name of the building? Sunrise. I don't. Oh, Sunrise. Surfside. Oh, Surfside. Surfside. It's Surfside, Florida. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my so, God. So four people are, I mean, they. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. And you're just in your house, just chilling. And then Do they, they know what happened? Um, I think it was. An old building, and it was on like some uneasy soil, maybe. It used to be on the water, water, right? So it's like uneasy soil or whatever. So there's a lot of elements that go into play. I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but Mm -hmm. I just want to give my condolences to those who have passed and those who are looking for their loved ones. Mm -hmm. I know they're doing like DNA testing for Mm -hmm. like family who have family in the building so they can determine whether or not their mm-hmm. family were in there. Yeah. And I don't know. It's just sad. It's just a sad yeah. situation. It's it so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So condolences to yeah. them for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are we done with hot topics? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean after that, after that, after that, I know. <laughs> after hey. that, you got my, you got I my know. blood pressure. Up. I know, I know. <laughs> we got to be done after that. We should, we should have ended with um the ball in there. I know, <laughs> I know. You want to bring up some condolences? I, Lord head, have mercy. You. Now my, my head, head hurt. Okay. Okay, anyways, we have a special guest in the building, and we cannot wait to get to talking to you about your life and the things that you've overcome and how you've overcome them. Because let me tell you something. Yeah, Cause I'm interested. Yes. Yes. Wow. A, a lot of women think that they are weak when they are in situations and they decide to move on from certain situations. Right. But you have women that are still in those situations that look at you and like, fuck, she was so strong. Like what did she do? How did she do it? And today we're going to get all up in your business. <laughs> all up in it because I yes. want to know. All yes, right. All yes. right. So one thing I love about you is you are very transparent and people just don't understand. Like a lot of people are not um, okay with people being in their business like right. that, you know, but when you are transparent and you have a testimony, right? you just don't know who you are helping. Who... But you know, that's not even getting into your business. That's just... Like you said, being transparent Mm -hmm. and being real and Mm -hmm. just speaking your truth. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So pages from my book. Let's talk about pages from my book, girl. Pages from my book came from um, 
just me going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I did go through a lot. Um, I was pregnant at 20. I had my first baby at 21. I got married at 24. Mm. I was divorced at 28. Mm -hmm. Um, And I had three kids um, within that time frame as Mm -hmm. well. Um, So the marriage was very rocky. The foundation wasn't steady. And I was in a relationship that I knew that God did not call me to. Did right. you know that? Because y'all were dating in high school. Right. We dated my 12th grade year. Um, and then I was this, oh, I'm a ride or die girlfriend. Yeah. I didn't have a baby. Mm-hmm. We're doing, you know, so, so good yeah. at that moment. And I'm like, I need to have your last name. If yo, if I got a baby by you, I need to have your last name. And I right. think I kind of pressured that, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I was seeing everybody else get married. I'm mm-hmm. like, what about me, you right. know? And um, and I did that. And quickly after, I mean, shoot, let's be real. Before I even regretted it, yeah. okay. <laughs> but um, I just remember asking God, like, we were having a lot of trouble before we were about to get married. He mm-hmm. had already proposed. And I was asking God, I was like, God, is this right? You know, we're having so many issues. And I can't tell you that I hear God all the time. I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the fact that you had to ask God. Correct. (laughs) Start there. If that's where you're supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's that kind of like a red flag. flag. <laughs> right. <laughs> let, let me tell you, I had many red flags. Right. Okay. Right. It was many red flags. Um, so so yeah, I asked God and out of the handful of times that I've heard him speak to me, he mm-hmm. did. He mm-hmm. said no. Mm-hmm. And he said it's so I could just remember it so clearly. He said mm-hmm. no. And I did it anyway. I'm like, mm-hmm. we got a baby, yeah. we got all this going on. I'm I'm we I'm married. married. Right. We finna I'm do actually, this. You said no, and right. I'm still gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. We right. gonna God, if he ain't right, you gonna have to make him right. You know, so right. it was that type of thing. And um, I'm gonna tell you just how bad it was. His mom came to the to the wedding and said the day the day before, and was like, "This shouldn't even be going on." Mm, really? Right. And so even then, I was just like, "Are we doing this? We here now." Still pushing it. Was mm-hmm. it the pressure from other people? Oh, was it yes. societal pressure? It was, was all the pressure. Yeah. It was the family. It was the kids. It was I don't it was me running from looking like the mistakes that I've made. Mm. And yeah, it that was, was good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. And it was also me running from just the idea of my dad not being there as But you well. were so young, too. I was. I was. And I didn't have a lot of guidance. Me, me and my mom, we wasn't really close. Okay. Um, I had friends. Mm-hmm. I had great friends. And they were around. Their parents were around. But to have that, like, connection with my mom, my dad was already gone. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. He was my God. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like... Okay, if I don't have him and I got these kids, you right. know, I need a man. Is, I, need, yeah, right. I need a man to like, you know, Help really mm-hmm. get through this. Right. You know, I want to look like I've accomplished something, you mm-hmm. know. And through the course of the relationship, I had lost a lot. Right. I had lost my dignity. I had lost my self worth. I lost who Raquel was mm-hmm. because I was trying to keep up with this image. Right, and I, I honestly don't recommend young women to get married so early right because I think we need to figure out who we are right before we commit ourselves to someone else totally because we don't know who we are and I, shit oh I, no I'm just finding out who I am mm-hmm. at I'm, almost 40 I'm learning now now yes, yes. right now right this now. day like mm-hmm. who I am mm-hmm. and what I like right. what I don't like mm-hmm. right you know I've never this is my Your heart first knows time. right and everything else my boundaries yeah. my expectations right. I didn't it was so much that I didn't know and then I a piece of me really feel well something that I'm working on a piece of me really feel bad that I didn't get to know who I was before even kids mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because that's a whole different person. You better speak to I had it. one at 17. So, absolutely. I totally mm-hmm. agree and understand. You know you what I'm saying? That. So, yeah. you know, even feeling those voids right. and saying, God, you know, fill me up because I'm, I'm, I'm broken. I'm broken. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm broken. I and I really do, um, 
I can really feel with you because I was married at 23. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, mm-hmm. I had my first baby at 25, I pregnant at 24. Mm-hmm. And it was this exact same thing. Like, honestly, when I was in high school, I was not thinking about no marriage. Like, oh, I'm not supposed to be married. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going off in Hollywood somewhere. Right. Like, I'm supposed to. I supposed to have one of them stars. Like right. that's what I supposed. That's I where kids. I supposed I never to be. Kids, but I always wanted to be married. But I never wanted to be married early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't either. I didn't even want to be married. Yeah. Really. But then you know I had been with Sean for so long. Yeah. So you just think that that's what you're supposed to right. do. My sister had gotten married. You know she had children. I'm like, well, I guess that's what I supposed to do. We've been together for ten years. Like right. people gonna start looking at me like I'm crazy. You right. know, right. still staying with this guy. I don't have a ring. All this and all that. Right. But I definitely understand. And I've said it plenty of times. Like yes, I'm still married and. I love my husband, but let me tell you something. If I was to go back, I would have made us wait yeah. another couple of years yeah. because getting married at 23, I did not know who I was and what I wanted and who and what I liked and the thing and my heart knows and my expectations. I did not know all of that. So now that I'm like you, I'm just now figuring it out. Mm-hmm. It's creating challenges for not only me, but for my entire family. Right. You know what I'm saying? My right. children are having to get used to a certain mommy. Yeah. You know, Sean is having to get used to a certain mommy because, hell, I'm trying to figure out who I am. Right. right. You right. know what I'm saying? Is, is marriage supposed to take your identity away? Is marriage supposed to take... Um, your goals and your dreams away. It's not, Absolutely it's supposed not. to amplify it. Right. It's supposed, you're supposed to get a partner who is going to support your dreams, mm-hmm. who's going to support you and your endeavors and vice versa. Right? Right, right. right. So I don't think marriage, and I think people have a negative connotation when it comes to marriage because they hear the bad. Yeah. But, I it's, don't know. I feel I, like people it, have this like spaceships and, okay, and well, roses yes. and I think it's two sides to it. You know I think it's two saying? sides to it. Yeah. I think men have that. Yeah. 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 But when I, I know when I got married or before I got married, my idea of marriage, because my mom wasn't married, but I've, mm-hmm. so, I've seen marriage, marriages in my family and right. long marriages. And I remember like my uncle George, I love my uncle George. He was like a father figure to me. He used to always treat me like a princess. And we used to go ride in the country, just me and him. He used to always dress me up like a little princess. And I was a tomboy. <laughs> I used to be in like these little frilly dresses with Aww. the little fluffy socks or whatever. And I always saw him as someone who took care of the family because he took care of his wife. All of her needs he took care of. Yeah. The household needs he took care of. He cooked. He cleaned. He took care of everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, even when we used to go drive in the country, we used to stop and get gas. He, It was North Carolina, so it was the country. Mm-hmm. People used to um, pump his gas in his Mercedes or his Jaguar. And I was like, oh, this is the right. life. This is yeah. what I want. <laughs> right. I, want some, I want a man to take care of me like this. And that was always my standard because I didn't have a father in my life. Mm-hmm. But when it came time to get married i was like oh this ain't it, it. <laughs> this ain't yeah, it. I was like, oh, god, god what you had said right. cool. i had told you right i wanted a man like <laughs> this yeah. right but you don't understand the dynamics right. of marriage and mm-hmm. relationships we always see like the fairy tale or right. the 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 glitz and glamour from the mm-hmm. outside but there are things that can make and break a relationship. Mm-hmm. Right. So tell me about, because I read detachment, detachment mm-hmm. from resentment. Right. So tell me about that resentment. Ooh. So it took it took me a while. Okay. It took me a while. Mm-hmm. Um, because like you, I had this fairy tale image in my head, like, mm-hmm. oh, once we get married, it's gonna all just come together. Rainbows mm-hmm. and butterflies. And it did. Mm-mm. It got yeah. worse. It got worse. And worse. Mm-hmm. And worse. And I'm like, what is going on? You know, right. it's like I was in a twilight zone. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I was very upset. I was very, very upset. I was so mad. I'm upset. I was mad at myself. I was mad at him. I was really mad at him. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't take accountability at first for right. my actions or how did you get into this? And I think we need to kind of realize that. Yeah. Because we do play a part. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because our fairy tale is kind of what 
perpetuates right what we think right. and they're not doing so mm-hmm. it's like yeah uh, yeah it's the it's the you see what's going on, but you're right. putting it underneath the rug, right. so you can you know make it Keep up. Keep that, that you know fear aside. Point the finger at him, and he like I can't give you that because I don't even have it. I right, mean, and you knew I didn't have it, but you right. you know you kept pushing me. Mm-hmm. So right. you know I had a lot of um, resentment, and in order I realized one day I had my kids, and I'm like I, I was becoming this single parent. I was running them to school. I was. One thing about him, though, he is an excellent father. Mm-hmm. Oh, my that's, God. That's like, everything. Yeah, oh, my that's God. Everything. He is an excellent father. And I had kind of missed that when I did. <laughs> but I was like, where you at? And right. it's like, yeah. you know, at the time, he wasn't around as much because we did split. And he right. was moving on with his life. So it was kind of different in that aspect. And mm-hmm. just, you know, doing all these single parent stuff, mm-hmm. going from, you know, a two-parent home to a one parent home and i just was like look i i'm i'm tired of this i don't like this either you know Mm -hmm. um but i had to say okay raquel you got to pick your poison right you know like yeah it may not be peaches and cream doing you know x y and z but it ain't peaches and cream and you know you don't need to go back here either right Mm -hmm. so i had to you know really pray about it and then take accountability for who I was, who I wanted to become, what life I wanted to give my kids. Mm -hmm. And I had to say, okay, I got to detach from this, you know, bitterness. And I don't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to live like that. Right. You know, you said I resented the time I put into the relationship, money I spent into the relationship. And to be completely honest, the responsibility Mm -hmm. of my children Mm -hmm. who were directly tied to the relationship. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Correct. So, yes, of course, the relationship, I mean, the money, mm-hmm. number one. Um, like I said, I wanted to be the ride or die chick. And, yeah. um, support your dreams. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm, you need to I do. supported dreams. Yeah. I'm like, you know, hey, it's okay. You know, quit your job. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if you want to do this, you know, do it. I'm behind you 100%. And because, you ain't about to quit your job. You know, now. I did. I was, you know, <laughs> crazy girl. <laughs> crazy. But, yes, I was like, you know, do – because – I knew he wasn't happy where he was, right. and I'm just, I'm a fixer. Mm-hmm. If something's wrong, I'm a, oh, let me try to fix it. Me too. And so I'm just like, okay, whatever you want to do, I'm able to, you know, if I'm able to help you, I'm going to be here. Mm-hmm. And so um, just the time spent, the money spent, you know, you start to think about all that. Yeah, all those yeah. years you kind of put yeah, into yeah. that, mm-hmm. you be like, hold on, wait a minute. And it ends badly like that. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And so, um, it took me a while. It took counseling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It took prayer. It took um, me Googling. And this is how pages for my book. Googling. Baby, Google is my friend. Do you hear me? Uh, Google said you have cancer. Oh, yeah. Girl. <laughs> and I'd be right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Girl, I got cancer. <laughs> right now. Look. Hey. Hey. So, you know, I mean, it was it was everything. So those steps I had to take. I had to go to counseling. I had to um, I had to sit in it. I mm-hmm. had to take accountability, and I had to stop dwelling on what was spent. I right. had to stop dwelling on what I, I had to stop replaying because you can't the get mistakes. that back, Mm-mm. right? It's so over why? with. Right. It's over with. The only thing that I could do now is rebuild from mm-hmm. where I'm at. And when I started to change my mindset about it and I started to say, okay, this is my life now. Mm-hmm. This is me getting up early, 5 o'clock, getting mm-hmm. three kids together, mm-hmm. ripping and running them back and forth where they need to go. And then, you know. Still figuring that's out hard. yourself. That's you hard. Know, yeah, that was very hard. So coming yeah. back a little bit. Um, in um, divorce series, detaching from resentment, you stated um, when you have small children and you were you, your thought process of will they think mommy's the bad guy? Oh, will right. they? How would they take this? You know what I'm saying? Like when you're thinking about a divorce. Those are really the questions. It may not be the man thinking about that, right. but as a woman, like we are because literally we have think- forethought. Oh yeah, we, we need to think about the yes. future and, right. and how but, it's going to affect them. But right. we're thinking about our kids. We're not necessarily thinking about us. You know right. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. how how is this going to affect them? How is this going to change who they are? You know, because right. you hear so many times as a grown person. Things that happened in their past, divorces that happened in their past, even if they're amicable, they still have an effect on the child. Yeah. Right. You yeah. say, Raquel, did you do what was right? 
did you mess up your kid's childhood in a way it left me in a state of resentment? Yeah. So my yeah. question is, how did you overlook all of that and still choose you? Wow. Um, I'm going to be honest. It was hard. It was hard. Yeah. My kids, and they are so intelligent, they will ask me questions like, well, what made you do that? Mm -hmm. How old are they? They are nine, seven, and three. Oh, they and my seven-year-old is very, like, she's a logical thinker. Mm -hmm. So she is the one Putting with the most. Together. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. just the middle that, child. Yeah, she asks the most, like, I mean, like, like, I'm like, hold on, wait, that? let me think about it. <laughs> right, right. right. You know? Because right. I didn't even think about right. that. Right. <laughs> but what made me just say, um, okay, we got to cross this bridge is because at some point my kids were in danger. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go in detail, but mm -hmm. my right. kids were in danger. Yeah. And for me, mommy wants to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Right. If mommy said, I'm not able to the be a mother house. to you anyway. Because right. mm -hmm. they, anyway. they feed off of that. Correct. They understand your feelings. Right. And I I grew up in a broken home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a broken home. My mom and my dad didn't live together. Um, however, I just made a commitment to myself to say, okay, if I'm going to do this, I got to be the best mommy in this. Mm -hmm. Right. And sometimes I can overcompensate. It's hard, it's hard, man. You know, it's mm -hmm. very hard. Oh, my gosh. It's very and hard. And you do find yourself overcompensating. A lot. A lot. A lot. But I'm going to tell you something. I have I have learned how to like maneuver some things. Mm -hmm. Like Ace, my three year old, he's like, Mommy, can we go to Disney World? I'm like, sure. I call Vision Land up. Yep. <laughs> how much are y'all tickets? Right. Thirty dollars. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Maybe this this is Disney World. Okay. <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right. You know, so I mean, it it has been a challenge, but right. um, when it came to my kids and the life that I wanted to give them, I had to ask myself, do I want to give them this life just to say that daddy was in the house? Mm -hmm. Because right. even if daddy's in the house, it can still tear them down. Mm -hmm. I, right. I have had friends and I've even had um, people that I just, you know, just know family members who had a mom and dad who were worse off. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that's what I'm saying. Naked. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's how you say it. Mm -hmm. I was growing up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I, all I can do is pour into them like I pour into anyone else or right. how I will pour into myself. Right. You know, right. and just pray to God that he helps me, help me, you know, raise them. Right. right. I remember um, a couple of years ago, I think it was maybe right when you first got divorced. And I, of course, I didn't know anything about it, but you put up a status that's so crazy. I don't remember nothing. Raquel, you <laughs> know what I mean? I don't remember nothing. But I remember this status and you were talking about how um, after the divorce, you um, didn't have a car. Yeah. You didn't really have all of these things. And then. Yeah. See, that's the scary thing. Here you go. Yeah. You know, putting yeah. your life back together, putting the right. pieces back in order. Let's talk right. about that. Later. Yeah. So when I left the, the, when we separated and to be honest with you, it was nobody but God because mm. I would have probably stayed if yeah. he put in just a little effort, mm -hmm. but it life was, life was just coming down it, mm -hmm. like I said it just kept getting worse so I got evicted mm -hmm. um from my home mm -hmm. I lost my car got repossessed I lost my job mm -hmm. and this was Girl. all in like a couple I found out that my mom was sick that she only had like six months to live at that point mm -hmm. and I was I moved back with my grandmother which is where my mother stayed and my uncle stayed mm -hmm. me and my three kids and my brother on and off yeah. So all three of all us those people were in one house. In one house. So my kids, they slept in my grandmother's room. My mom had her room. My uncle had a room. And um, sometimes me and my brother would sleep on the couch. And see, so you think you just going to get this knight in shining armor that's going to come in and rescue you and put you in this big palatial house or mansion and mm -hmm. then all is well because that's what you deserve, right? Right, right. right. That's but what that's that that's a part, right. right. part of my fantasy. That's a part of my yeah, my fairy tale. Right, <laughs> right, right. But, but the fact that you were able to because a lot of people think like, oh hell, you know, if right. I leave this relationship, I'm, I'm going to have hit, nothing. I'm not going to have anything, and I'm yeah. going to hit rock bottom. And mm -hmm. you may, you right. may, you may hit but rock that's, bottom. That may be what you need. <clears throat> mm -hmm. In order, but that's so you, scary to me. It is. That is so it scary is. to me. Like mm -hmm. if I were in that situation, 
I don't know how I would be able to react to anything like that. Right, like, right. I don't know if I would be able to go out on a limb like you went out on a limb and lose everything. Mm-hmm. Um, that was hard. That was, I don't know. That was just like a twilight zone because I was really questioning myself, like, am I doing the right thing? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like, so much has went wrong, and I want to run back to my comfort zone. Like, right. even though my comfort zone was dysfunctional as hell, mm-hmm. I'm like, That's I want to go knew. back. Right. <laughs> you know? I, kn- I know that. I right. know that. Right. But a piece of me... um, a piece of me was like, no, just keep going. And I think that's where Since You Got This mm-hmm. was created. Mm-hmm. That's um, one of the slogans that I have on my sweatshirts is mm-hmm. um, Since You Got This. And I just started coming up with a game plan. Like, I created a budget. I learned how to really budget my money. Like, I learned prior to that being in the relationship, but this is when it really went into effect. Right. Um, I cut out everything, nails, hair. Toes, everything, everything that I used to do or wanted to try to keep up with, um, I just cut it. The only thing that I got um, that I kept to myself was Netflix. Mm-hmm. That was my joy. Okay, that was, Netflix. Aw, that was I it. Love it. I love it. <laughs> that was it. You got a Netflix and chill, right? Girl. Netflix and chill. Yes. Okay, me. It gave my kids a little piece. It gave yeah. me a little piece. And that was besides that and the mandatory bills, I cut everything out. And I had to, like, really just rebuild myself. I had to go to the job that I didn't like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had to um, go get a car that I didn't like. But the What sales, was it? It was a Hyundai 09. <laughs> the the um, roof of it was, yeah, Sonata. Uh-huh. The roof of it was, like, in and in. And the man was like, he was like, you could. I wanted the charger that was out there. And yeah. I could have got it, but, yeah. you know, like, am I going to put myself in debt? Yeah. And so he was like, okay, you know what? Drive it for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. He said, "This you have to understand that this is not an investment. Right. This is really a liability. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it just needs to get you to point A to point B. Point A to point B. And so I was like, oh, okay, I drive it. He was like, just drive it for 24 hours. And I'm like, okay. So I drove for 24 hours, and I heard God says, say, I was at the light, and he said, I want you to have substance, not just on the outside, Man, but within. You know mm. when God convicts you in certain places? Yeah, I, knock you ooh, out the way my out, God. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. And I was like, oh, I don't want like right. God, what mm-hmm. is you thinking you know and mm-hmm. even he will humble you right mm-hmm. right and so long story short I mean I kept it up I kept it up no matter what it looked like I kept right. going after the goal and I said I'm a I'm really goal driven mm-hmm. so I set a goal to pay off the car so I paid okay. off the car in nine months wow. good for you I did I did and I was thankful y'all because I was like oh my god I don't want nobody to see me in this car <laughs> And then once I paid it off, I was like, oh, I don't have a car now. I, know, like, I don't care Ooh, what y'all driving in. Right. <laughs> you know, you like, had exactly. made you pay that five hundred dollars. Guess what? Five, eight. Nothing. Right. I had put twenty dollars in the gas tank. I'm like, okay, this is it. Yes. This is yeah. the life. Okay. Yes. And mm. um, I've been there. Hello. Mm. And so it was just little signs as I was obedient and kept focus yeah it was things that started to look up so i ended up getting a great job one of the jobs that i was like really like praying about for yeah. years mm-hmm. i ended up getting a great job and i ended up um just things just started lining up child mm-hmm. care for my kids mm-hmm. and the ways for them to get there it was like almost like you know you be faithful over small mm-hmm. things god right. will bless you yes absolutely. Absolutely. i mean with big things and i'm not talking about material things mm-hmm. i'm talking about just a piece of things mind. that mm-hmm. will satisfy yes things right. that will satisfy your soul right and it's He'll take you care of your needs. You said that so perfectly. It's not just material. And we think that when we pray and we like, oh, I just want this. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not the material things that make us happy and satisfy mm-hmm. us. It is the things that bring us joy. joy. Mm-hmm. And right. the things that we actually ask for and we know that we receive. Mm-hmm. Right. That bring us joy. That's that's when you know he's doing it. It's his work. Absolutely, right. mm-hmm. and it came so easily. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. came easily. I mean, I mean, your process was not easy, right? But in the in the long haul, yeah, it came easily. It did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. And I thank God for it. I thank God that I went through what I went through. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be who I am. Let me ask you a question. How are your kids <laughs> processing the fact that 
you're not with their father anymore. It was hard. Yeah. It was very hard. Mm-hmm. Um, they did, Mommy, why are you not with Daddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and at first it was conversations that, you know, hey, Mommy did this. So I was like, oh, you know, I was painted as the bad guy. Really? Really. By who? Uh, by their dad. Really? So, yes. And that's so hard because. Right. Making you the bad guy. Right. They don't. And, and we try to shield and protect yes. them. Right. And they don't do the same right. thing. Right. Because it, you say he's such a great dad. Right. But just because you're a great dad don't mean you're a great person to me, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, right. still, put me in a great light to these children mm-hmm. because right. I'm taking care of your children. Right. Mm-hmm. Hello. Mm-hmm. See? Nigga? All right. Stupid. <laughs> <Nah. It's> dummy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, so it was, you know, it it was tough, but yeah. now we are on a better term. That's good. You know? Mm-hmm. That's and good. I think he he has, he see where my point of view was. Right. You know? And I did know that it'll come full circle. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I did do mm-hmm. for him, too, was I prayed for him. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. It was that hard was, as hard. hell. Do you hear that's me? That's a hard I mean, spot to get to. But you, I think you know that once you get once you get over that resentment part, right, that right. bitter part, it's like okay, this is the fa- right. this is the father of my children. I'm going to he's going to be in my life. If it's not intimately, right, he's going to be in my life, and I want him to be the best, best. person he can be for our children. For the children, yeah. yeah. And he, even if he couldn't be the best for me, he got to be the best right. for them. Right. right, because they matter more to me at this point for for him. Right, right. you know right. what I'm saying, and and it I think it does um, take you getting over that bitter stage because the bitter and resentment stage is all about me. Mm-hmm. It's all about how I was treated, how I was done wrong. Like you said, how it was unfair to me. You right. know what I'm saying. Right. So I definitely can get that. One thing I do want to ask is, how did the divorce change the way you looked at men? And relationships in general, going back into the dating stage. Mm. How was that dating stage too? Because <laughs> I'm gonna shed. I'm gonna shed a little light. I okay. want to be completely and like she said, I am transparent. Mm-hmm. I hope I have enough time. But you do. I just got out of engagement as well. So you're not engaged anymore. No. But the dating stage and just going through that as well. Um, it has. It was different. Yeah. It was very different. But I went into it a different person. Right. So it was a lot of stuff that I would (laughs) that I took then that I wouldn't dare take now. Absolutely. Is that why you ended your career? Okay, so I admire you for that Mm -hmm. because it takes a lot of strength Mm -hmm. to do that. But it's it also takes a lot of maturity. Maturity (laughs) and just Know it, know with all from your past experiences because right. you know what you don't want, right? And you had the courage to say, you know what, this is not what I want, right? Right, and, and, that, and that doesn't it. mean that the the person that she was right. engaged to was a bad person. Oh, but not at all. We had, not at all. We had absolutely. a sidebar conversation, mm-hmm. and I told you, I was like, listen, when you get out of a marriage and even if the marriage went all that bad, you know, mm-hmm. even if you can look back and say, you know what, I I can acknowledge that I did some things right. wrong right. or, right. you know, but you get to a point where you're like, I know exactly what I'm not right. going to take. Right. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what it. my expectations right. and my standards mm-hmm. are. And if you're not meeting them, I'm not going to waste your time nor yeah, mine. mine. Yes. 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 And that's, that's, that is it. That so is was it totally mutual? It. It wasn't mutual. Okay. It wasn't mutual, but I do believe that he will thank me later. Okay. He may not thank me now, but he's going to thank me he later. He's calling you all kind of bitches right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kind of you know what I'm right. saying? Right. He's dogging me <laughs> out. But you know what? He going to come back. He's going to come back. Oh, all yeah. yeah. going to come back. Yeah. And, she yeah. and, yeah. and, and y'all going to be they, good friends. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, I do believe that. Um, But like you said, it, that that was tough, mm-hmm. yeah. and you have to be careful though when you coming out of a sensitive, um, like a marriage and going through a divorce. You have right. to be very careful to give yourself time to heal, mm-hmm. to process that. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. And I didn't, I did, but I kind of didn't. You know what I'm saying. Was he understanding of your situation before? Oh yeah. Okay. He was very patient, and that's one thing that I liked about him. He was mm. very consistent, and he was very patient. Okay, so. I got to ask, 
Sure, go ahead. Why did you guys Why did I break, break it off? Yeah. It was red flags. It was things that okay. I seen that, like she said, that I knew that, you know, in the Hard long knows. run. Yeah. Wrong, I mean, run, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it wouldn't last. Okay. You know, it yeah. wouldn't last. And even it though wasn't even great, something that you could even kind of woo back into my gr- like, like mold into. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, because we we also have to understand that when we get into a situation or a relationship, mm-hmm. there are going to be things that we don't like about the person. Right. Or we want to change some things yeah. that are just not going to be changeable about them. Mm-hmm. And we mm-hmm. have to acclimate and vice versa. They're right. going to have to acclimate to things that we do that they don't like. Right. So so for me, it's like, okay, you have, this is a part of knowing who I am and, right. you know, and just getting to know who Raquel is and what Raquel want to accept. And it was some boundaries that needed to be set. It was mm-hmm. expectations from his part and my part. And, when you sit all that on the table and you, you know, you discuss it. And if those things are not, you know, being able to be, you know, met. Right. Mm-hmm. Then, right. Hey, you know, you know. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So, and then and, when you know from the first marriage you right. went into and right. you had a like, I know this shit ain't right. Right. I'm going to do it anyway. Right. I definitely ain't about right. to go so, into the And even though they're two different people, <laughs> right. you two different still situations. understand right. the red yeah. flags. Yeah. But another thing, not so much on him, but for me, mm-hmm. I knew mm-hmm. I wasn't all the way whole yet. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I, yeah. I felt like it was too, we both had broken pieces that we were coming together and we felt good about oh, like this is more healthier right. than mm-hmm. what I used to be in. Mm-hmm. Right. But that doesn't mean that this is what you're supposed to be in. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I, I think I heard someone. It's a little Ooh, girl, you cliche. said something right there. It's a little cliche. Somebody said, you know, you're putting a comma where you should put a period. period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think that it was um, an accident or a mistake that seasonal. we. Correct. That we crossed paths. Mm-hmm. Right. I just think that, you know, the season, it wasn't. How long know, did you guys you, date? We dated for two years. Okay. Let me yeah. tell you what 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 I feel. Tell me, girl. about that relationship. Not not what mm-hmm. I know. Nothing like that. Right. Yeah. Right. I feel that you two came into each other's life where maybe you were broken. Maybe you did feel like you didn't. You couldn't trust a man, or you didn't feel like a man would keep his word, or right. um, you know, you just had all these feelings, and that maybe he. Made you feel like, you know what? There is a man that will love me and my children. Yeah. There is a man that will commit to me right. and my children. You know what I mean? Because right. a, a lot of times, women, we think about it. God damn it, I got three kids. Right. Who going to want me? Was he your first right. serious relationship? He after was. You? Okay, so he was. That, that's... Right. Yeah. And that was, and like I said, going back to just the broken parts of me, mm-hmm. because that was a, a big question for mm-hmm. me. Who's going to accept me now? I got three kids, you know. Did he have children? He did. Okay. He had an older baby. So it was, he was kind of out of the, you know, parenting stage. Parenting stage, stage yeah. So, you know, but, you know, it was, it was just me. I, I feel like it just went back to like my brokenness. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't think that if I was completely whole, that the situation would have lasted the, as long as it did. And I'm yeah. saying that he's a bad guy. He's not. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, he just, he swept me off my feet. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. But to say, was Raquel ready for that? No, I was not. Well, that's good that you didn't quote unquote fall for that right. because. I'm a romantic. Right. LaDonna's a romantic. Mm-hmm. I think all women have this romantic side mm-hmm. of them. We love men to sweep us off our feet. Hello? And that's mature. That's so mature of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But God, he is He is such a, pff, let me tell you, he funny. He funny. He is funny. He would definitely put you in situations to let you know. That, that dude oh, right there? I got you. No, right. I funny. got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Right. Look, right. you you can get this. You know right. what I mean? Right. But this ain't it. Right. This ain't one it. ain't right. it. But I want right. to show you that you can get it because right. you was doubting yourself. Right. You was doubting that, you know, you can but be. But when you ask him for revelation, mm-hmm. he'll definitely oh, give yeah. it to oh, you. Yeah. In oh, a way absolutely. that you definitely don't expect it. 
So what are you looking for now in, in yeah. the, if you were to go into a newer relationship? I, mm. I was going to ask that question. You just took it right out of my mind. Go ahead, girl. Sorry. Go ahead, girl. I really haven't thought about it, y'all. Like, I am so hooked on Raquel right now. Uh, okay, let I me ask you a question, if you don't mind me asking. No. How old are you? I'm 30. Okay, so you're young. Right. Mm-hmm. Girl. I've done so much. You girl. know, you would think I was about not my looks. Don't look over here like that. No. <laughs> but <laughs> by the story, you would think I'm about 45. Right. But, yeah. But you yeah, look it's good, time girl. for you look me. Good, girl. It's time for me. I haven't mm-hmm. even, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. not even on that. I don't live your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Understand your boundaries. Right. Know your heart knows, know what you're going to accept. And I think when you get comfortable, truly comfortable in knowing what you're going to accept with someone, Move on. Right. Yeah, the rest, the will, rest will come. Will yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I truly believe that. Absolutely. Believe that. And when I made that decision, I knew that, you know, I knew that that would be a part of my future. So right. I'm not I'm not tripping off that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I think that that situation also was a standard that God had placed on me. Like, mm-hmm. look, girl, look, hey, you got three kids, but you got it going on, okay? Got it going on. And I'm sorry. Bring the table. Having three kids does not negate the fact that you can't have someone in your life True. to take care of you but and your sometimes kids. sometimes you feel that way. True. You yeah. know what I mean? You feel that way you because do. you feel, It's an obligation. Right. It's totally an obligation. And I understand that completely because... I mean, just because I have one physically doesn't mean that I don't understand the obligation of right. having multiple children and the obligation of someone taking care of your children. Because mm-hmm. if they're taking care of you, you have to take care of my kids. Right, it's, right. It's... We're a package. Right. Hello. So I, I, I totally get that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, just all of it though. Yeah. All of it. Who I am, where I come from, my background, all of it. Like I I do, I truly believe that, you know, um, that when that time does come, it's going to be beautiful. Are you oh, yeah. open to like speed dating? Cause I always said I want to do speed dating. Two though girls need to do speed dating. Oh, can we create a speed date? I yes, watch let's it. do a speed date. If y'all do a speed date, I'll be a part of it. Okay, we we're gonna do a speed date. No I mean, how soon no are bombs. y'all gonna do it though? Let's give us a few months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Give be us good. by fall. Oh, cause you give know, you know when it get cold, they be ready. Oh, they be, they cold. be ready. They be ready. It's comfort season. It's comfort season, yeah. Yeah. It's comfort yes. season right now. now. <laughs> right now, everybody just getting outside. They don't right. want to be. We need to get with LeBrandon and do a speed date at the high. I love that idea. I'm putting that in the air. I love that. idea. Yes. All right, I I'll be that. there. We're gonna do yes. that. Yes, that's gonna be fun, girl. It will I be. know. We need to get. We're that. gonna be the moderators. Yes. We're gonna oh, be yeah. the hookuppers. The hookuppers. I like hookuppers. <laughs> okay. That's what we need to call yes. it. The hookuppers. The hookuppers. We're gonna do it. And I, you know, I just I love that um, you were able to use your testimony. Yeah. Your test, right, to show other women. Because the 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 obvious thing is you don't know what people are going yeah. through yeah. Right. given face value. Right. Oh, absolutely. When you see them coming to work, you don't know if they just got beat the night before. Right. You don't know if, you know, they their their children is eating Raymond noodles and they ain't getting anything to eat. You right. know what I mean? But you know, right. the sad part about it is I've experienced this from other people. Like oh, yeah. I've seen people be in the most negative, the most toxic relationships, Mm -hmm. the most abusive relationships. And then they will put on this facade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have to, you have to, but at the same time, that is so daunting and hurting to the people who are around you. Right. Because we want better for those who are going through that. And it's like, damn, like you're so strong, but you really don't have to be that strong. Mm -hmm. You really don't have to take the abuse that you're taking. You really don't have to be in a situation that you're in, but they want to put on this facade and this, Mm -hmm. this face Mm -hmm. that everything is okay. Yeah. They have think, to, to in order to maintain their sanity and their though. strength. Right. They, they don't know, have to. They, they don't have to maybe around um, their closest friends or maybe around their pastor or maybe around their counselors or their Anybody therapists. Anybody, though. I, I feel no, like we don't if have I don't to live know in you, a space. If I don't, I had to close my computer. I know. If I don't know you, <laughs> right. I'm not about to come around you telling you. Yeah, yeah, and letting yeah. you know that I'm down and out. Because yeah. let me tell you something. I well, serve a great God. 
morning. Yeah. God did, he said that joy will come in, in the, the morning. morning. Right. So what I'm dealing with right now, you may not need to know about. Because when right. I get my testimony, then I'll tell you. And you right. see and the glory of God. anybody that girl, is... Girl, girl. Oh, <laughs> 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 Just anybody on the street that you knows your like testimony. Family, yeah, friends. family, friends, that's yeah. close ones that know you, that yeah. know your struggle, mm -hmm. and that know they know what you're going through. And like I said, I've experienced this with friends and family, and it's like you know your worth. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know how great you are. Yeah, and It's okay for you to go through a little struggle because mm – -hmm. I mean, joy come do. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay. I think Weakness will endure for the night, but joy will definitely come in the morning. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think um, with that, because a lot of people, when people say this, it kind of gets underneath my skin when they say, oh, you put on for Facebook or you put on for this, that, and the third. And like LaDonna said, I'm, you want me to just tell me tell all my business? No, so when you yeah. go to your folks and talk about right. it. But when it comes to your closest friends, family and friends, one thing that I've learned in counseling and through my spiritual uh, advisors are you have the circle of people, right, mm -hmm. in your life. And you have your associates. That's the outer circle. Right. You have your closest friends and you have your people that you vent up to. Right. Mm -hmm. And you have those people that you vent up to mm -hmm. that can speak to you and you can be vulnerable with. Right. Mm -hmm. But to just be able to say it to any and everybody, you can't even do that. if it's even if it is family, some family you can't oh, say no. mm -hmm. because I know for a fact if I was to tell my mom or my grandmother what I was really going through when I was going through it, oh, so, I mean yeah. most of those situations would have probably turned worse than what they were because they right. call it they've been to call my uncle, mm -hmm. they've been to call somebody, about you to get know, killed. somebody. Yep. Hey, I'm, I'm finna pull Go up. Get the shotgun. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, call wait your a cousin, minute, right. you know, call Pookie right. and them. But to Everybody have people over. in your life that you can vent up to right. mm -hmm. and speak life to you, even if you are going through a situation who's not right. going to judge you or be biased in the situation, mm -hmm. that's what you need. That's what yeah. we all need. Because those know? people right. will fill you up. Right. right. They're not going right. to drain. And even if you don't, they'll understand, even if you're if you're not making a move at that moment to right. say, hey, I'm not going to deal with this. Or I'm not. But they it's know just somebody to, like you said, vent to. Right. And it's okay to have someone to just have a sounding board and mm -hmm. they, they just take Take in whatever you tell them. Mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. I think everybody needs to have a friend like that. Yes. Yeah. And that's why a lot of times, and I've learned it, and that's why I've been so transparent, mm -hmm. or I created pages for my book, or and I'm, I'm very I love that vocal. title, by the way. I love it. Thank I love you. that title. Thank yeah. you. Um, the reason I created it, because a lot of times I didn't talk to a lot of, I didn't talk to anybody at first, you mm -hmm. know, and I was Googling stuff like, oh, is she going through this? Or, you know, such and such is going through this. Like, have you ever been with a man and not affectionate? <laughs> you know, okay, you, so let me ask you a question. Was that something that you could not verbalize with your, your husband before? Like oh, yeah. just your feelings and oh, yeah. it, it, he wasn't receptive. He to, wasn't receptive. Yeah. So yeah. that was very hard Yeah, because. I am, like I said, I am a fixer, so mm -hmm. I, I can communicate really right. well mm -hmm. when it comes to how I feel or, you know, what's going on with me. And then for it to be, you know, kind of brushed off, it's kind of like, okay, well, where's my safe place? And I didn't have one at first. Mm -hmm. Right. So my safe place. you think he's your safe place. Right. But then he's not your safe place. So it's like, where do you go? Where do I go? Mm -hmm. And then I start writing. And that's so, it. Yeah, I started writing, and then me and my friends, we started having prayer every Friday. Aww, every Friday for about sweet. She has the cutest that's little sweet. friend group. They are just so cute. I, just love, I love them. them. Shout love out to you. them, baby. They they come in, they, you know, they help a girl out. But that's out. what you need, mm -hmm. right? Even right. if it's one, it could be one, three, five, ten, however yep. many. Yeah. Like, yep. if it's someone that's there and has your back, right. I think that's awesome. You know what's crazy, though? I haven't opened up to them until, like, after my divorce and really? really this year with my mom, I think I've, I started to allow my feelings to really mm -hmm. show. And my I'm, condolences, because I know you. the first time we were trying to get you on, you just, you had yeah. just started to go through I'm that. Sorry so we, we definitely apologize yes. for that. And um, we just said, we, we're happy that we were able to finally get you here to tell your story because yeah. your story is so important. 
It's so important. Yeah, it'll definitely help a lot of people. Because, mm-hmm. sis, you got this. Hello? Sis, you got, you got this. this. I love my wall, You know who you're saying? <laughs> I, I love got, it. <laughs> I got lipstick saying, sis, you got this on my mirror. My baby was like, you right. didn't have anything else to put? <laughs> Although, you know, I feel like. Y'all will understand. Have I have two girls and my baby is a boy. Oh, I bet he's, and he's, he's so spoiled. cute. Oh, oh he's so Bad, you know, he's bad. He's, bad. He's, bad. He's, bad. he's so bad. Right. He, he's so cute, so he gotta be bad. Right. And he's the youngest. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, because yes. uh, oh, he got it. older sisters. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I'm about to go get my sister. Right. Play with me. right. Which one is that sister? The oldest. Really? Layla. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. She'll, she'll go against anybody for him. <laughs> right. Oh, she'll go against it. the middle for him. Really? Oh yes. Oh yes. That's they so they sweet. team up on That's her. So cute. I have to watch them. She's okay. a rough rider. Don't do that. Don't do that to her. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's so cute. Well, thank that you so cute. much for gracing two dope girls. Yes, Raquel. We you guys. really appreciated you. I yes. appreciate your story. I still want to know more. I know. I know. We're gonna stay connected. Absolutely. Yes. Too. This will so, hopefully not be your last time on yes. Two Dope Girls. Raquel, let the people know where to find you. I am on IG as Raquel I am. I'm on Facebook as Raquel I am. It's, no, Raquel Sanchez. And you can always go to my website, www.pages with the S from my book.com. And I like your, your blogs because mm-hmm. they're not long winded. Mm-mm. And I, I love it. how you end with a prayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I do. I, I love. It. How I can't wait to prayer. grace it with more. With more. So I'm yeah. excited. How often do you do your blog? I have written so much. I just okay. haven't went through Girl, the edit process. There. Yeah, I haven't put went through the there. edit process and just go ahead and just you know. But mm-hmm. yeah, I have. I got so much to come. I got so much to talk about. Well, we'll be and, yes, and we are so sure. excited. I can't wait yes. for these. Um, the sweatshirts to come back oh, out because yeah. I need the sis. You got this. Yeah, trust me. I, I need, need some for the summer because you know how I sweat. <laughs> 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 I need a short sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> even in the, even in the wintertime. No, not, not in the way. Look, it, when I'm in my home, I'm freezing. Like my okay. my limbs are like on ice. When, my husband keeps it so cold in a mm. in a house, but I don't. That since you got this sweater, I'm gonna keep you right in pause, yes. y'all. I'm going through oh, yeah. pause. You so crazy. You so crazy. <laughs> Tell them where they can find us, girl. Okay, you can find us at Two Dope Girls Pod on IG, um, Twitter, Facebook. You can find us at Two Dope Girls Podcast on um, YouTube. Like, yep. subscribe, share, comment, interact with us because yep. we want to know what you guys are thinking and yep. feeling. Yep. You can find me at Graceface with two underscores on IG. LaDonna, let them know where to find you. Naturally pretty on IG. And we are out, you guys. Yep. Two dope girls out. Bye. Dope girls. Dope the dope girls. Dope the dope girls. You better be on it, dude. Dope the dope girls. Dope the dope girls. Dope the dope girls.